Good people, what's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Hey, another first for my channel. Never done anything quite like this before. It's a portable line array style PA system from my friends at Bose. It's the L1 Pro 8. So you see it sitting right beside me here. There's a sub in the bottom and a high frequency driver array up here. And it's actually super portable and light when you break it down. It's really, really easy to carry. I'm going to show you that in a bit here. Okay, up in the top here, there's eight high-frequency drivers, uh, two-inch uh, Neo drivers. And then in the bottom, there's a racetrack-style driver down here for the sub. And then there's a built-in mixer here on the back that's got two channels where you can plug in through these combo jacks here, uh, either an instrument or a microphone. And then there's a third channel here where you could maybe plug in a computer or tracks via a quarter-inch in or eighth-inch in or maybe a keyboard or something like that. And on this channel, you can also actually Bluetooth up to it and just stream right to it from like a phone or a computer or anything that's Bluetooth compatible. So I actually did this for the drums on the track at the beginning of the video. I made a drum loop in my DAW and then I bounced it out and transferred it over to my phone. So you're seeing me hit play on the phone here and uh, that's sending the drum loop out via Bluetooth to the L1 Pro 8 system. Sorry about the shaky camera work here. I like to think it's charming. Anyways, yeah, so I'm hooked up via Bluetooth to channel three on the back of the system here. And uh, that's the sound of the full range system uh, coming out and it's being picked up by this Earthworks TC30K microphone right here. And so you're hearing the sound of the system in the room essentially. And I think it sounds pretty cool. So, I mean, this is great for, you know, performers that want to jam along to drum loops or play along to tracks. It makes it real simple. It's a simple Bluetooth wireless connection and you can actually add via uh, another little link input here more inputs via a Bose mixer that they make so you can you can expand the system essentially by adding more inputs this is the T4S mixer this is an expansion mixer for the L1 system they also make an 8 channel version and they both feature uh, the ability to of course add extra channels to your L1 system but also like powerful DSP processing there's three band EQ on every channel there's a whole bunch of different effects and uh, things like compression and you can store presets so if you do different gigs that you use the L1 for you can store channel configuration settings for your different uh, your different setups and whatnot so that's nice so this is the expansion port here where you can plug in those four or eight channel mixers and expand the system and add more channels. But if you're a solo performer that maybe plays acoustic guitar and sings, uh, you're already covered with what you've got here in the L1 system as far as the simple but powerful mixer. Both these first two channels, channel one and two, give you the tone match circuitry. And you can match each channel for uh, either an instrument input or a microphone input by just pushing this button right here. It steps you through mic, instrument, or off, which allows you to uh, disable the tone match circuitry, essentially. You've also got a mute button on each channel as well. So that's nice for taking breaks and you don't want to maybe power down the whole system. You can just hit the mute switches. And then these controls here are like combo controls. Essentially, it's going to step you through volume, treble, bass, and reverb on each channel. And then it's just like a rotary encoder and it shows you via the lights here on the channel where it's set. And you also get a master system EQ here that allows you to tailor the whole EQ of the, of the whole system. So you can switch it off or you can switch it to live, music, or speech. I quite like the live setting. It sounded like it attenuated the bass just a little bit and made it sound really nice and clean and tight. So anytime I do a system that's kind of full range or PA style, I'm always like, how am I going to show this effectively in a video? How am I going to do it? Because it's like, you know, it's meant to be a PA system in a room, uh, not something that's maybe close mic like you would a guitar amp or something like that. But what I decided to do, and I think it worked out pretty well, is use an Earthworks reference style mic, a TC30K, and just place it back in the room and pick up the sound of the unit in the room. And I plugged all my instruments right into the mixer. I used the internal reverb and everything and the EQ. I plugged the output of an HX stomp right into one of the channels and I used that to uh, record both the bass guitar and one of the electric guitar parts. And I also took the output out of my Sur PT-15 IR amp, which is a, a speaker simulated uh, direct line out, and plugged that right in as well and played the last guitar solo in the song like that. And then I panned it, the acoustic guitars out a little bit and stuff, and I started to realize, like, hey, this is kind of like if you had uh, a band with three or four musicians in it, and each person had one of these, which is kind of, I think, ironically, the way that they, they designed it to be used, where you'd have a few of them spread around the stage, and it would be, you know, producing all the sound of the different instruments 
uh, for both the musicians in the band to hear as well as the audience. So in a nutshell, I think you're getting a pretty good representation of what this system sounds like in a room with a bunch of musicians playing, even though I played everything, both from the full track, the full mix, as well as soloed out parts. So I'm gonna play the soloed out parts now so you can hear the individual instruments, the acoustic guitars, the bass, the lead guitar. Let's check it out. So for each channel, you get control over volume, treble, and bass. And on the first two channels, you get actually reverb as well. That sounds really good. Uh, I'm just going to go to the reverb here. Hey, check. One, two. It's like a nice warm hall. Hello, and welcome to Movie Phone. I don't know. I just felt like saying that. But anyway, the reverb sounds great. It sounds like maybe a two and a half second decay or something like that. Really nice. Sounds good with guitar as well. Good people of the World Wide Interwebs, thanks for watching my video on the L1 Pro 8 portable line array PA system for my friends at Bose. Super cool, compact system, tons of power, yet really, really easy to use. Just sounds great. One thing I should mention about it is, that I haven't yet, is the massive sweet spot or lack of beaminess. With traditional monitors, many times you walk off axis, you can't hear them anymore, your tone changes, that kind of thing. This thing, you set it back in the room a little bit and it'll just spread sound all over the stage. Your audience will hear you, they'll hear you on stage. Hopefully the other musicians in the band want to hear you because they're gonna hear you. Super duper light. I like to see if I can lift it over my head. I always do this to see if I can do it. I can do this a ton of times with this thing. Numerous times. Maybe not too many more times. High frequency drivers in one hand and the included carry bag, low frequency in the other hand, and your guitar in a gig bag on your back, and you can make one trip from the car. There's an iOS and Android app as well. We didn't even get into that, but you can check out that as well as any other cool stuff you want to know or questions you might have about the system down at the link in the video description below. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell beside the subscribe. You will get an alert every time I put out a new video. I'm Pete Thorne. Take care. Over and out.